creating your own fetcher for your terminal. Let's talk about it. A little while back, I made a video going over the custom information fetcher I made for my Debian terminal, aptly named Deb Info. I posted about this video over on the Easy Linux forum, my Twitter account, my MeWe account, and I received some questions and feedback, and I wanted to make another video explaining the reasons why I made it and how you can make your own if you're so inclined. But anyway, I had a lot of fun with this video, or with that video rather, and I've since made a few more information fetchers for different distros, and I would like to talk about making your own fetcher for your terminal because I know there's other programs out there like ScreenFetch, NeoFetch, UFetch, among others. Like I said, I had some fun making my own and realized that it gives you the freedom to design it the way you want and a sense of accomplishment once you finally get it working properly. And the people working over on UFetch and a very friendly person over on the Easy Linux forum by the name of Elias W4U. I'm pretty sure I butchered that, so I'm just going to call you Eli. Thanks a lot. This person was really, really helpful in getting the syntax for my colors working in a way that was easy to customize for me. And also several people over on Reddit over at r slash Unix porn for some inspiration. So with that out of the way, let me show you some commands that I used to get the information I wanted to include in my fetcher. So in my terminal here, I this is the newest one I made called, I named it Bullseye Info. To get the information that I wanted here, there's some commands that you needed to type. So to echo the user, you would just say echo dollar and user in all caps. And that will give you the username. So to get the OS, the best way to do that that I have found would be to say OS equals LSB underscore release space dash s-i-r-c and when you echo out dollar os you get debian testing bullseye and this has worked on pretty much every distribution that i've tried and it puts it out in, in like a pretty name so it worked out pretty well uh to echo out the kernel let's let's do uname dash sr to get the uptime, I did uptime dash p and pipe that through said. Substituted up for nothing. And for my shell, you can do shell equals and those are just the, the, the simpler ones that I used. Uh, to get the CPU, this is gonna this one's kind of a long command because I had to I had to pipe things through said several times just to get the syntax to get the wording the way I wanted it. So I'm just gonna paste this in because it's gonna take a minute. So CPU equals LSCPU pipe through grip looking for the model, uh, looking for model and name, and then using said to substitute name for nothing, and then finding model, and then this goes to the front, this goes to the front of the line, and it pretty much just makes everything pretty. So once I run that, and then do echo, nope, yeah, echo dollar CPU, I get AMD Ryzen 3900X 12-4 processor. And for RAM, this was this was actually one that I had written a while back. For RAM, I did RAM equals free dash H, pipe that through awk, and found mem, and printed out the third column, a slash, and then second column. And once we echo dollar RAM, I'm using 4.4 gigs of the 64 in the system. And right now I've got a bunch of stuff running too. 
I mean, I've got Firefox, Genie, OBS, VirtualBox, uh, two instances of my file manager, and yeah, I've just got I got a bunch of stuff running, and I'm still only using 4.4 gigs. Linux, Linux is great, but anyway, that's just some of the commands. Let me show you. Let me show you the script itself. I'm going to cd into term info, and we're going to bull, them bullseye info. And here you see where I declare all of my variables here, where I do user equals user at os equals lsb release dash sirc. Uh, I chain I, I did away with the desktop equals xdg current desktop in favor of an if then statement. Here, it this kind of differentiates between a window manager and a desktop environment. So if you get the, if it's a desktop environment, it'll say environment type equals desktop. And so on and so on and so forth. So now down here I do environment type which equals desktop. And here WM equals the desktop session. Whereas if I were on, let's say, i3 or xmonad or awesome or something like that, it would it would say that it would give you WM here and then the window manager here. To me, it seemed like it was a little, a little bit, that was a little bit more complete. You define your colors. And once again, I'd like to thank Eli for that one. Thanks a lot. And here, we just echoed everything out. And I know it kind of looks funny here, but everything does line up because you, you just you just saw how the terminal looked earlier. So all all it is, it's a string of echoes. It echoes out all of my ASCII art and my figlet type Debian bullseye text here. And then it echoes out all of my variables in a way that makes sense. And that's the way it looks here, which I think that's pretty cool. You know, that's that's pretty distro specific. But let's say you wanted to make it user specific. If you wanted to have one for just the user, let's say I wanted to have one for my Linux Dabbler page. I actually made one kind of kind of in the same vein as this, but I named it ld.sh. So, and that was actually in. I moved that over to user local bin. And I have ld.sh here. So it's in my path. So I, all I got to do is do ld.sh. And I got a little fancy with this because this is kind of like a, it's a deaf leopard type text. Because I'm a man of a certain age, I really like deaf leopard. <laughs> And I echoed out Linux Dabbler through Figlet and piped that all into G and put that all into Genie and got my spacing correct and then just moved everything from Bullseye Info into this new file and spaced everything out the way I wanted it, got my syntax right, got my colors right, and there you go. And you see it was pretty quick. So what I can do now is let's say I want to add that to my bash RC. And say so I want to get rid of bullseye info and do ld.sh. Dot dot bash rc. And it's still pretty quick. So the way I found that was actually on an ASCII art generator. If you go to your web browser, and I'm actually at my GitHub page right now. But if you go to like this, to cooljenerator.com slash ASCII text generator, you can change just about any font that you want. And let's say you wanted to go with, I, I don't know, the, the Def Leppard font that I used. That one is here. And let's say you wanted to do 
LD for Linux Dabbler, or let's say if I wanted to type it all out. That looks kind of cool. Or let's say if your name was Steve, or your name was Marcus, or I don't know, Brian. All you got to do is copy that and paste that into a text editor, put your echo quotes around it, and you're pretty well off to the races. So now let's go over to my GitHub page and I'll kind of show you around at some of the stuff that I've made. And uh, once again, I'd like to thank uh, Eli for the peppermint mint and Arch Info V2 and uh, also for Ubuntu. He really helped, he really helped out a lot with that. Uh, I pretty much kept the scripts that he had written that was kind of based on mine intact. I just kind of separated them out per distro. And let's say if you want to look at Ubu Info. I know names are not, naming stuff is not my strong suit. But this is pretty much my script, a lot of his additions, and this, it kind of looks jumbled up here, but everything lines up perfectly. Uh, I did add the Figlet script to the end here, just to, I don't know, make it pretty. <laughs> because it's what I like. Yeah, these are, these are super duper easy to customize. I mean, you can change any of these variables and you don't have to change anything here. And you can change the colors here and you don't have to change them here. Or if you wanted to use a different color that's listed here, down here, all you gotta do, let's say you wanted to change the red to a light green. You just change C1 to C2 down here. So let's say you wanna change C1, all the C1s to C2. And all of your red text would now be light green. Really easy to customize. It's super cool in my opinion. And yeah, I've had a lot of fun uh, messing around with this. Uh, this is the, the one that we made for Arch. But if you wanted to have the ASCII text, I have a V2 here that we kind of, I kind of made for that. And there's one for bullseye info. Of course, you know, you've already seen that. There's one we make, there's one I made for Buster. You know, just the, the regular deb info that was the original. Uh, Manjaro, I had a little, I had some trouble with because I was having a hard time finding just the ASCII text instead of the solid color blocks that are, that are in uh, screen fetch, neo fetch, and all that. So what I wound up doing was just doing MJRO through Figlet and basing it around that. So here, I'll show you what we got here. And then we got one for Linux Mint, one for Peppermint. Steve might like that one. And also, and of course, one for Ubuntu as well. But anyway, that's about all I've got for today. I've had a lot of fun doing this, and Eli was a big, big help. Thank you once again. And yeah, if you're interested in this, uh, I'm gonna link I'm gonna link everything over to my GitHub page. And if you want to change something or add something or really customize things and make them your own, by all means, be my guest. It's not an important project, but it's a fun one. So anyway, thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Y'all have a nice evening. Hey, this is Editing Mike, and I just wanted to interject here that with all of these stutters and stammers that I had to cut out of this video, I just wanted to take a moment to make fun of myself because that was kind of ridiculous, not even going to lie. It made me want to channel some foghorn leghorn. Well, I say, son, you're doing it all wrong. Just spit it out. You're acting like your brain is heavier than your tongue when you know it's not.
That tongue ought to be just as nimble as it can be. Everybody, he's a sweet kid, but he's about as sharp as a pool ball. Billiards, that is. <laughs>